Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the Windows 11 chat feature, which is actually part of Microsoft Teams. So if you're running Windows 11, you might have noticed this little purple chat icon down here and wonder what it did. And if you don't have that, it was probably turned off. So if you want it back, you could right-click on the taskbar, go to taskbar settings, and then you could turn it on from here. So we have two users here. We have uh, this computer. We have Cindy Sims. And on this computer, we have Todd Sims, and we're going to start a little chat between them. So you're going to need to know um, the person's email address, you know, what they use for their login for their uh, computer here, the Microsoft account. So on this one, once again, we have Todd. So if he opens up his chat here, so it's the first time you do it, it's going to ask if you want to sync Outlook.com and Skype contacts, which we don't in this case. And you could edit your name if you want to do that. We're going to click Continue. Okay, so we already have a previous uh, conversation going there. So then it gives you another option to sync if you want. And then on this computer here, which is Cindy, we're going to open up the chat. Okay, let's click on Get Started just to get it going the first time here. Click on Let's Go. Okay, we'll close this out. So I would kind of recommend just kind of logging into uh, the account first just to make sure you're active and that way you could receive messages and that kind of thing. Okay, so back over here, we're going to just start a new chat. We could continue with this one, but we're going to start a new chat here. And once again, this is Todd, so we're going to be talking to Cindy. So we'll put in her email address. Okay, so we found her here. And so, okay. And then, of course, you know, you could do things like format your text, add attachments, add your smileys and all kinds of other animations, that kind of thing. And then your animated GIFs as well, which we're not going to go into that right now. So we're going to click on send here. So that was sent. So we'll go back over to this computer. Then we got a little pop-up here saying we've got a message here. So we could just click on it to send a quick reply. Or if we open up our messenger here, you can see we got our message here. And so once again, we got Cindy on this side. So Todd said hi to Cindy. We'll say hi back. And we'll send a little smiley face. And if we go back here, see so we got the smiley face and this little timestamp, and it shows you when it was read. So, it's, you know, it's just a typical messaging kind of app. And then what you could also do, too, if you look up here, you'll have some options for meetings and phone calls. So, if we were to click on this phone call, we could actually start a voice call and a video call. And if we go over here, it's calling you. And we can accept it. We have a, so, we have a, so you has a little delay so there, has so a little delay have, there, so we have a, so that just shows you that you could do a voice and video call right from here as well. And so then going back to the main screen here, you'll see up here you have some meet options. So if you click on that, this will start a Teams meeting, and then you see I don't have a camera on this. And you can go to your settings, you know, check all your usual stuff, click on join now. Okay, then if you have some sharing options, so we're just going to copy a link here. And if we go back to our message here, so Todd. And then if we go back over to Todd's computer here. You got the link and then talk or click on it. Join the meeting. So the organizers will let the organizer know that you're waiting. So go back over here. I know it's a lot of back and forth here. So going back to the Teams meeting here. So Todd is in the waiting in the lobby. Admit him. And now we have our, our meeting going. Meeting going. yeah, then you could start your meeting and do all your typical Teams meeting and, you know, show participants. 
conversations. Start to keep the chat in there. You, know, you have your little actions up here too as well. Raise your hand. All the other good stuff. So let me just leave this real quick. Yeah, so once again, just uh, the first time you go into it, just kind of open it up and make sure you're signed in and then just go through the nonsense of it, asking for uh, to, to link your contacts unless you want to. And then all you got to do is go back out here and get a new message going. Just uh, click on chat, put in the name, email address, phone number of the person you want to use, assuming they have any of this information registered. So if they don't have their phone number and you put it in, it's not going to find them. So you're probably best off using their email address and then just send it off and then they could uh, reply and you have all your little you know, animations and smileys and attachments and formatting and all this other stuff down here as well. So it's pretty simple to use and it's kind of cool if you want to just do this, you know, easy way to chat when you're at the office or when you're at home and somebody else is over at their house. Rather than having to use your phone and text, you could just do this on your computer instead. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.